Greetings my friends, I'm doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie for the last time. I'm doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie for the last time. I'm, do I'm just a normal guy who's doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie for the last time my friends. We've made it, well it's not quite done yet, touch wood again, but we are on to day 100 which is the final day of the 10,000 pull-ups to pie challenge. Each day, Monday to Friday, consisted of 100 digits of pie. That would be learning, memorizing, and obviously performing for you guys with uh, you know, with pull-ups thrown in there, just for just for a laugh. So yes, so here we are. Uh, I'm gonna get through it again. I'm gonna try and get with, through within the, um, the half an hour period before me, uh, the other camera pulls out. So and for the last time, I'm gonna, Put this 14 kilo thing around me. It hasn't actually been 14 kilos for the whole time, but for this week it has been. And it'll be good to get it over with. But um, anyhow, thank you for anyone who's been watching it or people in the future who are watching this because you know that was the that was the point of me documenting um, the whole journey of doing this. And again, it's just the it's just the beginning. This is just you know this is just. A challenge. I've done quite a few, a few challenges, um, physical ones as well, and this was obviously more of a mental, with a bit of physical in there as well. But it's just, uh, I'm just so looking forward to seeing where it goes. I feel as though I've been training my mind. I've took my mind to the gym for the last five months, and uh, I've had two thousand stations. I've to put all of these digits on, and I'm thinking, I don't know this for sure, but I feel as though it's. It's for a reason I've done it. I feel as though I've, I'm supercharging the brain, hopefully, for going forward, because I want to learn lots more information. I want to read lots of books and absorb, uh, well, maybe not lots of books. So I want to read, read a certain amount of books and absorb them deeply, is what I kind of want to do. So, and I wanted a system to be able to do that, using memory palaces and memory techniques and things. So we'll see where this goes and we'll see how I can translate it through to learning other things, hopefully useful things. And not the things I've kind of learned in the past, which were just quite trivial. I want to try and go a bit a bit deeper on things. Um, but anyhow, let's just let's just crack on with it. It's um, we'll get through it like I say, I don't want the, the camera to run out. So actually I'm just gonna I'm actually just gonna check that I've, I've switched the camera on. Just wanna Yes the little the little red dot is doing its thing. So for the last time my friends um, until other future pie challenges which again could be a bit further down the line I'll talk about them as we're cracking on <sighs> these lips just don't stop right let's go two six four five six two six four five six right okay I've got a couple of pens here they're both starting to run out well yes so we'll just see we'll see how they go um right two six four Five, six, right, okay, that's okay for now. Uh, good to have a backup though. Right, okay, I'll try and get through it. After the first 50 again, I'll, as usual, I'll go through the techniques that I'm using. Okay, right, this is upstairs in the bedrooms. Yeah, so I'm in the front small bedroom, then I'm gonna go into the next bigger bedroom, my son's, and then finally we've got a few stations just in hours. So that's where we are now. So this is next one's on the bed. And the bed is zero, zero, one, six, two. Zero, zero, one, six, two. Okay. Zero, zero, Ozzy Osbourne, one, six, on Schwarzenegger, two, being attacked by birds. Yes. Okay. Let's get it, let's get it done. It's a bit later in the day. I've been, I've spent like, Three and a half hours trying to paint uh, Idris Elba, um, and it's it's definitely doesn't look like him too much. It's uh, anyhow, I'm I'm digressing again. Let's let's get on with this and uh, okay, right. So here we go. Ooh, ow. Three, seven, four, um, yeah, two, eight. Throw myself off there, yeah. But I'm going to start a real painting mission uh, going forward. Okay, let's have a look. Three, seven, four, two, eight. I am. I do want to call myself a professional artist, but 
but I've got so far to go. I've created a lot of paintings, but the skill level needs to be seriously enhanced. And I've, I've implemented this, uh, this strategy, I think, which will hopefully get us to the next levels and things. I'll talk about it maybe in another video. <laughs> okay, All right, let's get back. Eight, zero, two, one, zero. Okay, eight, zero, Haley Osmond, I think his name is, uh, Haley Joel Osmond. 8021B a bracket, zero in this case is a um, Stargate. Okay, right, yes, okay, gotta get through this. I'm say conscious about the time again, because uh, uh, the camera has cut out after 30 minutes before because of my waffling. So, right, that was it in Miro. So now we're at the window, and outside of the window is the next character. Um, so just then the arms uh, heal a bit. Ow. Nine, two, seven, six, four, nine, two. Dr. Manhattan. It's actually Nils Bohr, the scientist, but he's in the Manhattan Project, so uh, I've just got Dr. Manhattan from Watchmen. Nine, two, pull in the face of... Uh, Gene Simmons from KISS and he's walking through a door which has kind of been made where the window is. Okay, right, only five down, Ooh, a quarter of the way through. It's been a long journey my friends, you know, I never know if I'm going to make these things. I say there have been some really painful injuries which have, um, I thought it might have, well, I didn't want it to stop it but it could have done at some point. Okay. Five, seven, nine, three, one. Five, seven, nine, three, one. Pen starting to go. Five, seven, nine, three. Come on, pen. One. <laughs> nine, uh, sorry, five, seven, nine, three, one. Right. That was a uh, dream catcher against the wall. See, you can use anything for stations. I always like to have a bit of space in between them. Try not to have them too cluttered. Um, and now there's an exercise bike there that doesn't get used. I hate bikes. <laughs> I like outside bikes, but not inside the bikes. Sorry. <laughs> um, right, five, seven, nine, three, one. Right. <sighs> Zero, six, five, seven, <sighs> nine. Okay. Oops. So Daisy, let's see what this pen is like. Right, it doesn't want to come out. Okay. Uh, okay, that's a bit. Zero six five seven nine. Let's make everything else look dull now. Oh well. <laughs> right. Okay. Zero six five seven nine. Okay, right. We're leaving that room now. The front door. Not the front door. The door to the bedroom. So, in, on that station is two, two, nine, five, five, two, two, Brian Blessed, nine, five, Mr. Blobby, uh, it's actually Noel Edmonds, but it's become Mr. Blobby, and five is a snake, he's fighting a snake, yes, <laughs> he's doing alright, to be honest. Not too bad. Okay, right. In the door to the left is a piano, not a very good one, but it doesn't matter uh, because there's a master playing it actually. Uh, I don't know if he actually plays this instrument, but uh, he probably does. Anyhow, okay. Uh, it is two, four, nine, eight. Eight. I couldn't actually remember when I first started that. That one I was thinking, oh, what's the last number? But it came, thank God. Two, four, um, nine, eight, eight. I'd like to get through these touch wood without making any mistakes on the on the hundredth one. You know, 
If I do, I do hoop this. Hopefully not. Okay. Final one of this 50. And halfway through, my friends. Okay. Oh, okay, right, so this is on the bed. Uh, under the bed. Um, right. Seven, two, seven, five, eight. Oh my. Oh boy. Seven, two, seven, five, eight. Right. Come on, let's. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick look before I reveal this, just to see if I feel like I've made a mistake first. Uh, that's kind of like cheating in a way, but I just sort of, I just kind of want to see if I've just said something. Um, not translated this properly. Uh, I think it's okay. We'll see. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, okay, okay. I think. I think we're good for now, my friends. Okay. Quickly get through it for the last time uh, on this particular show. Okay, so to remember these digits, first of all, I convert the digits into numbers. No, I don't. <laughs> the digits are already numbers. I convert the digits into letters. Okay, so zero becomes O. 1 becomes A, 2 becomes B, 3 is C, 4 is D, 5 is E, 6 is S, so 6, 7 is G, G7 summit, I presume, 8 is H, and 9 is N, again, you can see. So it's all straightforward there, right? Okay, so I create a person, action, object list, although mine's only, only, only really a person and action list so far. I'll add the objects later on, but there is an actual object on this, which is the last digit. I'll explain in a second. So... Person action object list. Okay, 0, 0 to 99. Okay, because that'll cover all the, the numbers and things. So, 0, 0 is Ozzy Osbourne. 0, 0 is O, O. Ozzy Osbourne, um, biting the head of a bat, got the glasses on, doing other, other things, whatever you might think. Top of the tree, Nick Nolte, right at the top. I always like to bookend them. Nick Nolte, um, chasing around Eddie Murphy from the film. I don't know why my head's tilting like this. I think it's the weight of it. We'll go that way. There we go. Um, Eddie Murphy uh, from the film 48 Hours, but it's Nick Nolte and he's chasing him. Okay, all the way in between is characters and actions. Let's pick one maybe I haven't said before. So, uh, so 20, 25 is Barbara Eden from a um, series called I Dream of Genie. In um, the action is rubbing a lamp, like because uh, she's a genie, come, or coming out of a lamp, or something to do with a genie in a lamp. Okay, so. Uh, 27, Bill Gates, B is 2, 7 is G. I always have him, I've always just had him pushing around a wheelbarrow full of money. I did have computers to start with, but you can put computers in and money, you can have anything you want. Bill Gates is, I'm sure it's, you know, wide and varied. Okay, so there you go. So person, action. So when I do this, the list, the first two digits is the person. The second two digits is the action of that person. So, for instance, let's have a look. Um, so zero, second one on the bed was zero zero. So Ozzy Osbourne, I see, I'm seeing Ozzy Osbourne. He's going oh, Ozzy Osbourne, oh, swearing and stuff maybe, and he's doing the action of Arnold Schwarzenegger, which is I've usually just got him weight lifting weights. So that's it. It's just so Ozzy Osbourne. He's like he's like oh he's got he's flexing his biceps and things, and he's getting he's either getting attacked by birds or there's a bird there, or maybe he's just curling birds, which is what the two is at the end. So you see, so you don't see Arnold Schwarzenegger there. You just you do the action. So the first person is the person. Second one is the action. So um, and the last digit is is it's like the object nowhere. So it's it's uh, either number shape or number rhyme. So zero is hero. One is bun. Two is shoe. Three is tree. Four is door. Five is high. Six is stick. Seven heaven. Eight gate. And nine vine or wine. Whatever rhymes with the uh, the number. Or you can use the shape of it. I intermingle them all the time. It looks a bit like a snowman, so you can have Olaf running around. So I've usually just got it uh, involved in winter. Five looks like a snake, nine is a balloon on a, st uh, on a string, so you, uh, hot air balloon, anything balloony. <laughs> One looks like a spear, zero looks like a, um, a stargate, and so on. Okay, so there you go. So let's say, um, so what we've got there, we've got um, seven, two, 
is is George uh, Bush, the president, what well, former president, 72 George Bush. So I've always got him usually standing at a podium, so he's there, he's like, you know, however he talks, you know, um, maybe a bit goofy. And he's playing, so he's playing badminton because 75 is Gail M's. And he's on the bed, he's playing badminton, and it's all icy, and there's icy goals coming down, and, and he's maybe slipping on the bed and things, so yeah. So that's it. Okay, I'm going to crack on again because I'm, again, like, conscious about the time. So, just going to stretch out for just 10 seconds here, get the forearms on the go again. Right. Like I say, you just put them on stations. Like I said, I was walking around, uh, walking around the bedroom in my mind there. Obviously, physically, I did it to start with. Right, okay. 7-2. That's the bed. So next to it is a little bedside cabinet. Okay, not surprisingly. Let's get going. Four, six, one, zero, one. Four, six, one, zero, one. Right, I feel like time's getting away here. Four, six, one, zero, one. Let's try and at least get a good chunk of these out of the way as quick as I can. Have to have a slight rest in between. Uh, okay, next one is just a big window. We've got two, six, Four, eight, three. Okay. Two, six, four, eight, three. Doesn't look like an eight, there you go. Eight, still not, anyhow, that's, that's an eight. <laughs> two, six, four, eight, three, right. Computer, just two seconds. The computer in the corner is a station. Uh, I could have lots of items around it, but I've just got the, the whole desk and the computer for now. I didn't need to strip it down into getting lots of little things because I only needed a certain amount of stations to finish it, so I spread them out as best I could, which I think is better. <sighs> okay. Six. Nine. 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 Eight. <sighs> okay. Six nine 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 eight. Right. Okay, next one is another little TV on an entertainment stand. Okay. Whew. I just can't remember which one I just did there. Uh, what ones? One, two, three, one. Okay, right. Okay, so. Uh, nine. Two. Two. Five. Oh. Six. Oh, starting to struggle out. I'm taking a few seconds here. Okay, so nine two. Doctor Manhattan. So he's rubbing the lamp. Uh, two five. So he actually he could be coming out of the lamp. So which is quite good because um, he looks a bit like a genie because he's blue. <laughs> Not that all genies are blue, but so he's coming out of the lamp and. Or, or there could be fire coming out, or there's fire behind it, which is what six represents. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, this weight vest on, it's, it's constricted with the breathing and everything. Okay, which, you know, breathing, kind of essential. Okay. Right. Next one. Uh, we're actually going into the, uh, into the wardrobe to uh, Narnia. <laughs> Why not? Uh, okay. Nine, five, nine, six, eight. Nine, five, nine, six, eight. Right. Whew. Yeah, I'll just take a few seconds in between. I think we're, I think we're okay for time. Um. Oh. Nine five nine six eight. <sighs> right. Okay, what's this one again? Uh okay. Almost forgot it there a second. I think I know, I think I know what it is. <sighs> eight one five nine two. Whew. I think it's eight one. I'm pretty sure it's nine five nine and two. I think it's that. 
but we'll see. Okay, desk thing. Okay, right, so four stations left and we'll have four more in my mind, so, so that's good. Okay, the next one's just like a little, uh, little Joan desk. Because my son's an artist too, so uh, he's got that. Right. Uh, what does this do? That one do? One, two. Okay. Um, zero, five, six, zero, zero. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Zero five six zero zero, which is Omar Epps from House, who's one of the doctors there, and he's doing the action of Shaquille O'Neal. So he's he's drawing at the desk, but he's just he's bouncing the basketball next to him as well, which is clever. He's drawing and he's bouncing, and the ball is the last one as well, which is zero because the ball is round. So that kind of works out for that one. Okay, three left my friends and that's it. My God, it was a long time ago. I don't exactly know if it was the early January. It could have been the first week of January I think I started this. So, and I haven't, haven't missed a day, Monday to Friday. Um, weekends off, which was essential to try and keep on memorizing the digits and uh, try and recalling them in my mind. Okay, sorry but I'm just taking a little bit extra. One, zero, one, six, five. Okay, so that's one zero is Annie Oakley. And she's again doing the action of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And five is a snake, so maybe a, maybe a, a, a gun, because she's a sharpshooter, has turned into a snake. And uh, maybe, again, maybe she's lifting weights with the snake and it's all, it's all kind of loopy and uh, um, or maybe the snake is lifting weights as well. I don't know. It's like these things are they vary in my mind quite a bit and lots of times it's just the concept and so they do I say they do vary but um the theme is the same. Okay. One zero one six five, right. Okay, two left. Five, two, five, six. Three. Okay, five, five, two, the Spice Girls. Five, two, five, six, doing the action of Edward Scissorhands. And three, so there's, so there's a big tree coming up there and the, they've got the Edward Scissorhands gloves on, so, because they're, uh, yeah, five, two, like I said, it's Emma Bunton from the Spice Girls, so, um, they're all just trimming shrubs and trees and things like that. Checking about this camera, two seconds. Okay. Everything's still running. Okay, I'm gonna just give this a little bit. I want to make sure the last, the last five reps is a good, is a good clearance of the head. I might do a backflip. I'm not gonna do a backflip. <laughs> uh, I should have worn like a little celebration hat and things. I, I did maybe think I should do something, but it doesn't matter. You know, I'll maybe give a, a, a fist pump. I think that'll be good enough. You know, and the Tiger Woods won't win a major. It's just like, it's like one of them. You can put on a silly hat and do a dance on a backflip, so. And that was probably something a bit more major than this. Okay, final. The final set, my friends. You've waited a long time. <laughs> you know, you have to wait a bit longer now. Here we go. Okay, um, I'm actually just, I forgot what it was for two seconds, <laughs> but I think I know now. Okay. Seven, five, six, seven, eight, yes, okay, oh, um, seven, five, six, seven, eight, okay, All right, there we go, let's, let's get this off, let's hope that things are right, I'll be a bit gutted if something's wrong. Um, but, okay, uh, I think, I think we're good, I think, 
think we did it my friends. Um, let's pull this, pull this forward. Uh, sorry for the, the ink, like I said it was, <laughs> it was starting to kind of go, go a bit dead there. So there's some muted stuff. But there we go, that's the, that's the 10,000 done. Um, quite, the, quite the adventure. Let's get this evil vest up for some reason. I decided to start, start wearing weights. Oh, just gonna check this back this camera again. Two seconds, sorry. Right, okay, we're still running there for now. Right, let's get this. Let's, let's unwonkify this thing. Make it more wonky, but yeah. So that's ten thousand. I've got, like I said, I've got my book here. I've got uh, the little tick of all the. Um, there's some there for the for the Facebook thing. So that's up to ten thousand. All the little tick. It's well done, Mr. Lee. You did it. You did it. And all the way through. So I've got from the very beginning, uh, all the way back to the start with digits. 100 to 200 and all the way all the way through uh, little the book up to 10,000 with all all the little positions where you know it's just like uh, Heather's poster that was where it was like me so my daughter's room so Heather's poster then bed then chest of drawers then mirror you know so I'm gonna keep checking this because I'm just know it's gonna cut out but so I've got the book I've got I'm in the process of going through, I was, I was doing a thousand a day. The last few days I've had a few other things on, so, but I'm, I'm back up to seven and a half thousand now, so, and what I'm doing is I'm, when I'm going through the book, I'm making little, any ones I either get wrong or back to front or something, I'm, I'm just using pencil, and I'm putting a dot next to the, the book, and I'm, and I'm mentioning which one I've got wrong or whatever, but there's, there's not loads, to be honest with you. I mean, there's, there's sometimes there's on the odd hundred here and there, there's maybe a few more, than I would like on certain ones, but I've probably missed that station for, it could be over a month before I've been over some of these things because I can't keep going over 10,000 digits every night. It's just too much, it takes. So I've got to try and systematically go through them. But I'm super confident I'm gonna get all 10,000 digits in my head. They're literally, you know, a lot of them are in there. In fact, I mean, up to 7,500 again. The ones that I was getting slightly wrong were hopefully again reinforced, so, and then the ones that I've marked, so once I've got back to the 10,000 again, which I'll do over the next few days, then I'll go over the ones which I've marked, get them and um, make sure I've got them in my head. So technically at that point, I should have over 10,000 in my head, but it's not that straightforward, obviously. It's gonna take quite a lot of work going through them again and again and again to really solidify them until I know them inside out, upside down, backwards, and all that sort of stuff. So, um, again, sorry, two sentences. That's, it just has, it's just not cutting out, I must have done them faster. Anyhow, okay my friends, that'll do. Thank you very much. It's been, uh, you know, it's been interesting. It's kind of time sucked, I've got to be careful how I say that. Um, obviously a lot of my time, but no one forces to do this and there's reasons. I'm glad I did it, again, it's another challenge and I think we should challenge ourselves through life all the time. Um, and again, I've got so many challenges going forward I'm excited about. And I feel as though there's lots of things come together that I can start to hopefully be useful to people and myself as I grow. Um, you know, hopefully a bit taller as well. But, you know. Okay, thank you very much. And thanks for, uh, I apologise for posting these 30 minute things every day on the Facebook. Um, but so well, Monday to Friday. Uh, but that's it for now. Uh, the long format ones, I'm going to try and do lots of short format things. And then maybe the long, more long format ones will be on. Uh, the YouTube. Okay, thank you very much. Take care. Have a great day. And bye de pie for the last time. Bye de pie. Okay, I'm pretty sure you would have stopped by now. No, you haven't. Oh, wow. Okay. Must have got through that a bit. Uh, the last one. So, yeah, I, I know you're going to cut up, cut up there. You might have just cut out right now. But, again, if anyone's actually watched I don't expect anyone to watch all these things, it's insane, you know, but someone might watch the last one, you know, they might watch the first one and the last one, so that kind of makes sense, maybe one in the middle, but thank you, anyhow, for watching these things, and I hope, um, I hope you've learned something. I knew it, it had cut out, I just, I tried to squeeze it in there, so I don't know where it went off, but I was thanking everybody for watching 
I'm sorry if I'm repeating this again, but I don't. I don't know. But thank you for watching. Again, um, again, I expect if anyone's going to watch them, they'll watch the first one and the last one. So I just want to make sure that I say, uh, give my appreciation for for uh, watching us through this. I can maybe talk a bit longer now because the things I've, I've reset the thing. I've just hit the, but not that I need to. But um, maybe I should. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's like it's been an interesting journey. I remember like talking to me, like I was walking along the seafront with my friend, because it was Nelson Dallas from. Um, I've I watch his channel now and again. I haven't watched it for a while. I actually sent him a thing on Facebook, and he didn't get back to us. But I was telling him I'm like I'm doing ten thousand pubs to pie because he mentioned on one of his videos. This is his book. Actually, it's amazing. I think it's great. Uh, and yeah, I'll be going through it again, trying to enhance my techniques and things as well. But, and, and I've got to give a mention to Anthony Mativia as well. He was like my first mentor, like about four years ago. I kind of took his um, his uh, mastermind and got his, he's just such a cool guy as well. So a shout out to Anthony Mativia. If anyone's watching this at the end, please go and check out the master and sign up to his, um, his mastermind, his course. He's just like, he always gets back to you straight away and he's just like generally, Genuinely, shall I say, just one of the nicest guys I've ever met. <laughs> so, and I might be doing a podcast on his thing um, at some point down the line when I've solidified these 10,000. That'll be pretty cool. But, yeah, it's been... I spent a lot of, lot more hours than I thought I would do this. I, I, didn't, I don't know what I really thought at the beginning, but as you can imagine, <laughs> as I'm going through... 10,000 is a lot. It sounds a lot. And again, when, sorry, I was talking about that Nelson Dallas, when he mentioned it, he says, oh, I've took this world championship test, not test, that's not what it is, challenge, uh, to try and break a world record of 10,000 digits to pie. Then what happens is you get asked 50 times in a row, this is why I'm doing them in fives. So 50 times in a row, you sit in front of a panel, I don't know how many people, and they say, okay, there's um, 37428, which is the third one down. And you have to say, ah, oh, okay, 374, 37428, right, 00, 00162 and 80210, which is the numbers before and after. That's bonkers, isn't it? But when I heard him say that, I was like, whoa, that's cool. And then he'd, so he'd memorize his 10,000. He said he, he memorized about 10,000 digits at a time. But he's, a, he's, he's won the US uh, Memory Championship five times in a row. He's like, Obviously, got a really good mind for this stuff as well. And what all have as well, he just trained over the years. And it is techniques. It's like getting really good at creating these images so that in place them in places which are logical to you, chronological, logical, whatever the, um, the words I'm trying to have a continuity with them. So that when you go back in these memory palaces, and I, I must admit, I found. The last 700 digits were probably the easiest out of the lot, the ones I did inside of this house. I found that I recalled them much quicker and I didn't have the struggle of um, forgetting them as much as I have with all the other tests that I've done, where I was using movies and I was walking along the seafront, I was using lamppost, lamppost and bench and whatever. They just, I feel as though in the house where I could pick um, better places and have a bit more space and it just and I was moving around in a place you're familiar with so that that's definitely the biggest thing I took from it um, is that trying to find these places so again have a look around I mean I just when I walk through Whitley Bay where's where I live um, in Tyne Mouth and the Seafront and things I was I do walk around things and I do pass these shops and that but I don't really pay attention as much to like what they're called or whatever so when I was just going out and picking these um, places to lay the digits, it's like a shop there, then I would bounce over the road, then I would, um, and I'm like trying to go through it in my mind, but because it wasn't as familiar as it is in this house, it was harder to recall the things. So it's like, which is, log which is obvious and logical, but trying to get 2,000 stations to get the 10,000 digits, I did, really didn't, I couldn't be too fussy, so I had to just get as many locations as I could. That's why I used the first 4,800 were, uh, I just went on my camera and I left the front house, the front door, that was the station, then the gate, then all the way along to the lighthouse, then back along there, just picking little spots all the way along. And then 4,800 digits, however many stations that was, um, I guess nearly a thousand. Um, 
So, and then after that, I used Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark, the other way around, actually. Uh, then I used Infinity Wars. In the last 700, like I said, I've used in the house. So I was picking in. So I've used lots of different techniques. And I also wanted to do them to actually to do these different variants of how to create these memory palaces. So again, I could give more information going forward about what I thought worked and didn't work. Um, and I'm going to be... I'm, I'm definitely going to be bringing out a course again, whether people buy this thing, I don't know. I hope it's going to be useful because I'm also going to show why you can... What, what doing pi can do to relate you to learning other things as well. It's not just about memorising pi. I think it's far more reaching than that. Um, anyhow. Okay, I'm sure I was starting to say other things that I apologise if I've deviated. Um, but yeah, so anyhow, so that, that challenge though, so... 50 times in a row, but he, he, he failed it. I mean, and I shouldn't use the word fail, but I think he tried it three times and he didn't do it. So he, somewhere along the line, he tripped up. So I was like, but I want to chew this challenge. But he's doing all these other things. I'm going to be like obsessed with 10,000 digits to buy. It's like, I'm going to do it every day, but I do 500 digits a day. Because um, I think that's probably okay. Or through the day, I could just do, every hour I could do 100 or whatever, until it's really in my head. And then I'll start testing and see how long can I go. Um, I might, you know, once it's really in my head, I might say, okay, I'm going to give it one month. And I'm not going to review the pie. I'm just going to leave it. And then after a month, I'm going to go, it could be risky, but after a month, I'm going to go through and I'll see what I forget there. Again, that, that'll be a good test because again, I don't want to go through it every day. And if I don't need to, then I won't do it, you know, so, but it's good to have a recap every now and again. So I'm going to be doing all this experimentation and testing and try and give the results of what the results are. Yes. Okay, my friends, I've, I've certainly gone on way too long here, but it is the last one. And um, I'm definitely going to try that world. Well, if I can do it, that is. And I will. I'm sure I can. But I don't have the fastest mind in the world, but I'm not trying to put myself down, but maybe it's faster than I think. And once I know all the digits and someone says a number, I'll be like, yeah, that's 43421. You know, it just might be in there that quick. I don't really know. Excited to find out about it. So we'll see what the, um, you know, it's like when we learn a song or, again, you learn a piece of music and the music is just, again, hundreds or thousands of crotchets and quavers and things. And then so, and you're not going to forget that once these masters have learned these things, they could probably go months or years even, then go back and play the thing. You know what I mean? So it's like, Pi, it's, it's a bit more random though. It's not like, because, like, unlike music, which flows a bit more, this is just all over the shop. But, <laughs> same, similar type of concept. I'm, I'm just, I find it hard to stop because it's the last one. Um, but yes, and also, sorry, there the, is the challenge, which I'm really hoping I'm going to do this. In my mind, I will do this, but we'll just have to wait and see. I'm not, and I'm, actually, I'm not going to do it until, I've actually got a decent amount of followers in the future because I need to kind of have a lot of people following us and I think over the next few years, hopefully they will, I'm going to be doing all kinds of creative stuff with me painting and pianos and all kinds of stuff and hopefully if I get followers, then I'm going to train to do the 10,000 pull-ups and recall the 10,000 digits to pie all in one waking session. However long that might take, I'm guessing, I'm guessing about 40 hours could be less, but I'm going to say 40 hours. So, and so I've got to stay awake the whole time doing that. And I want to do it for charities. This is why I want to make sure I've got enough people so I can try and raise as much money as possible when I do this. So, in the meantime, if I take two years for training, um, and I have like, I've, I've done some practice sessions before, it destroyed my arms. So I did like 500 pull-ups in an hour. Um, every 35 seconds, I was just doing five, 35 seconds, five, without the weight vest. But that's why I was using the weight vest, because I'm training with extra weight to try and get the extra strength, you see. So, anyhow, these are the, the physical challenges I want to try and do, and mental ones. Um, but yes, going forward, we'll see what happens. Thank you very much, anyhow. I can't believe it's over. My God, okay. Thank you very much, my friends. Take care, and bye-de-bye, for the first time. <laughs>